Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends to another day of very minimal editing on a morning vlog. Oh, my God, yesterday was horrific. <laughs> it was a nightmare beyond all, all reckoning, last night especially. So, yesterday, we went and got the U-Haul truck. So at 8.30, actually, from the Veterans Village, somebody that worked there showed up. I did a few minutes more of stuff here, and then we went over to pick up the U-Haul. Oh, boy. That took an hour. The person that normally does it wasn't there. And so this one person was trying to hold down the whole fort and try to do the U-Haul stuff at the same time. Because it was a gas station and, you know, little food shop place that has the U-Haul in it, too. So, that took about an hour. We're just standing around. Oh, my gosh. It was awful. So, thumbs up. On the other hand, got to take a look at the place. It's, they say, please pardon our remodeling. I don't honestly know if they're remodeling. It's... I don't know what happened with the place. It's obviously been a gas station for a while because there's pumps and stuff. There was a laundromat on one side of it. That's been long since shut down. When you go into the store part of it, there are just the ceiling. Parts of the ceilings are down low. Some of them are up. There's cubby holes tucked into areas. It's just awful. There's hinges. The first thing that happens when you walk in is there's the circuit board on the left-hand side of the, of, the, of the wall. You just walk in. There it is. You could go -da 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 and just really mess them up if you're of a mind. So it's a nightmare building, but I really like it. So, <laughs> But we finally got the U-Haul. And so we drove it here. And then the person that drove me here, had to get a ride back out to pick up her vehicle. Now, she thought I was going to be until today, but no, it was really quick. After she dropped me off and the truck was waiting out in the driveway, all of my stuff has been sitting in there in the corner waiting. And so the people from the church showed up. Now, this is good and bad because talking with people about it, it seems like it's more exploitive than it should be. But there is a church where they'll take in people who need help. Like I got, I was glad to listen to the one person who was talking who was sharing a lot. You could say oversharing, but again, I didn't mind because it was something to, to hear and they needed to say it. So there, but it was heavy-duty people who need stuff. And so they're staying at the church, and then the church is farming them out. So they've been moving a lot. Like I, They've had to empty out like two-story buildings and stuff like that. Mine, just having a bit of stuff in the corner, was a breeze for them. But they've been, they get like $75 a month as a stipend to live on. The rest of it, the church provides. And they're not very nice places that they're staying. So, seems more exploitative than it should be, but yay, they showed up. We got the stuff over to the storage unit, dropped it all off, so that's good. Then, the rest of the day was just I had to walk to Walmart. That's right. <laughs> I had to think about it because I was foolish. I, well, not exactly foolish, but I sent everything out. And then I forgot that I was going to need something to stay on here because I had another night. I can't sleep on the floor. So I had to go to Walmart. I got a, a cheap air mattress. I got two blankets because I need blanket, a bl two pillows because I need a pillow to go between my knees and I need a pillow to hold this arm up when I sleep. And so I needed two extra pillows because I've got my one pillow for my head. And so I needed two pillowcases for the pillows 
And then I needed two blankets, which I thought I was buying fleece, fleecy blankets. Instead, I bought two really cheap, so easy and cheap to replace. Excuse me. I bought just some microfiber types that were ripped. They're really slick. I mean, super slick. I move and they just slide off each other. And so it, that's awful. I need to go get new blankets. Now, all that said, I did not realize how cold this house could get when there is nothing in it. It last night. I was in here with my air mattress on the floor, my memory foam pillow under my head, having my arm up on the one pillow, pillow between my knees, two fleecy blankets on top of me, and I almost died of cold. I slept maybe, well, I, when I first got here, eight o'clock, I was so dead tired. I tested out the mattress and fell asleep until 11. From 11 o'clock until 7 this morning, I think I slept an hour. So before that is when I got the bulk of the sleep. After that is when I didn't. I was, oh my God, again, so cold. So absolutely freezing. And I'm really good at forgetting things. I forget. I have to be careful with my legs because... My right leg, if I, if it gets too warm or I bend it up too much while I'm laying in bed, if I get too much like a fetal position and draw my knees up towards my chest, not good. I had to get up to go to the bathroom at 4 o'clock in the morning. The mattress is on the floor. To get up, you have to bend your knees up towards your chest. The moment I did that, both inner thigh muscles cramped. It was horrible. I had to figure out how to get up without, uh, you know, standing straight up because you got to bend your legs. I had to stand up without bending my knees because I was cramping. You can't stand up from the floor. I had to do kind of a push-up thing. Ow, ow, ow to get standing. So after I got back to bed, I had to make sure that my legs stayed out straight and not being bent in the slightest. Oh. So it's been a bad night. I've been super duper cold, super duper sore, cramping up. Just it's been miserable. If I look tired, it, that's why. <laughs> But I've got stuff packed up. I mean, I've sort of spread out in here again. I mean, I've got, you know, my four bags, the two suitcases, my sleep apnea machine. So that's out and spread around on the floor. And then there's my laptop stuff up here. And so I've got the box for the air mattress and things like that around. So... It's gotten a mess because of that in here, but there's, I'm looking at my picture instead of that. <laughs> I'm using Bandicam to record. So I was looking at that instead of that. But, uh, so that's what happened last night. What am I doing today? Well, I'm trying to keep it clean. You know, got to tidy back up again. Got to put everything away. Got to pick up all the little bits and pieces that I've been let scatter. Got to put my sleep apnea machine away. Got to pick up all my clothing that I've moved around. So, oh joy. But that won't take like 15 minutes. So, yeah. So, today it's just survive. And then tomorrow, after I've stayed my last night here, I go drop off my key over a, the... Uh, property management place. They have a slot on the front of their building. I just have to push it through. I'm going to put it in an envelope with like the name, my name on it and stuff, and then just pop it in and it'll be gone. Thumbs up. And then on Monday, they're going to do a walkthrough and it's going to be a nightmare. I mean, the house is trashed. This is the last day that anything can be done. And my housemates, 
They need to pick up a lot of stuff. They haven't really done their stuff. I vacuumed here the other room. I vacuumed in the hallway up here. I've done as much as I could up here. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be taken away out on our concrete pad of the covered garage. So it's not an actual garage. But we've got, I think they've got more stuff out there to be taken away than I do. But I don't mind paying for half of a dump run. Past that, there's some of my junk inside here, very little. And then it's done. I mean, I'm not expecting my, my deposit back. I never have. So thumbs up on that. Yay. Now, what else was there that I was going to talk about? Because there were all sorts of things, only I really can't remember. Unfortunately, I had to put my my regular good for my back chair away. So now in a flat backed wooden chair, all I have is the pillow that I had between my knees to put behind my back. Ow, ow, ow. Better than I did yesterday because I had nothing at all. Excuse me here. Uh. So, yes, I have no word at all from the transitional housing. and But I'm expecting word on Monday. Now, I have had, like, my neighbors and such say, you know, there's places I could look around that there's stuff like that. People have apparently offered rooms and even gone through one of my housemates. But if I don't dare accept anything until I know whether or not the transitional housing. So I, I don't want to start moving into some place and then turn around and say, oh, no, I'm not going to do this. I got accepted into transitional housing because then I just got to undo everything I've done. And I don't want to move from here into somebody's place and then into transitional housing and then into the veterans village. This is all, it's enough as it is. I, I don't need to add another bunch in there. I've been working with my sister so that tomorrow night I won't be just on the street, which is good because I, I, if it was as cold outside as it was in here last night, I, I would have frozen to death, which isn't true. I just would have been very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, so... I have been so stressed out, so major league stressed out. Thumbs up for that. So until I know about the transitional housing, like I say, I've been working with my sister. So tomorrow I should be covered Monday. I need to call up again because no word on the transitional housing on Friday, hopefully Monday. I've got my phone with me, so if anyone calls, I'm, I'm covered that way. But again, I, I don't want to have to do a whole bunch of extra stuff when it's just going to be having to move at some point if I get into the transitional housing, likely before I've even finished moving into the other place. It's all just a lot of extra stuff I need to know before I do anything. Yay. So, what am I going to be doing today? Thoroughly stressing out. <laughs> I need to go and get some actual real blankets that aren't going to slip. I mean, that was bad last night. Then that was primary. I mean, I even put down, got up before I went back to bed after going to the bathroom. I put down one of the, flip, the microfibers, put down a towel, and then put down another microfiber blanket on top of that so that it would stay warmer. And before I could do anything, because they were just the slick microfiber, the towel had slid this way and the top blanket had slid this way. It just, they're awful. I wish I'd realized that. They might be good for if you tuck them in, but past that, you make one move and they're going to go sliding off like they're on little centipede legs. Yay on that. So if I get the transitional housing, that'll be good. Hopefully the Veterans Village will get some word yet. But it's all, you know, the town names mean nothing. But it, there's another town, another city where they're doing the application processing. The Bremerton Housing Authority. They have been open since July here at the Veterans Village. 
and Bremerton Housing Authority hasn't approved anybody yet. And I'm like the eighth person that's applied. So it's frustrating for everybody. They've been open. There's nothing for them to do. They want people to show up, but we can't. So hopefully the Bremerton Housing Authority is going to hurry up and start, you know, accepting these things and letting us move in. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm going to, I got to walk to Walmart. I need to get new blankets, not a whole lot of them, just cheap stuff, just not slick stuff. I need to get a good back support. They're cheap. You can get them again, Walmart or any of the cheap pharmacy type places you can go into. And that'll be better than using a pillow. <sighs> so there is my status update. I am miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good physically because the mattress is on the floor and it is better than an actual normal mattress, but it's not soft like foam. I feel like I have been sleeping on concrete. So, yay. But still, going to do what I got to do and hopefully you can do what you got to do. And that would be cool. And before I do anything else, I do want to thank each and every person that has donated to my GoFundMe, that has donated to my PayPal, that has, I, I do want to thank, you know, nowhere up here for a list, but I want to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. You are beautiful and awesome people. Thank you so very, very much. I forgot to open up a browser, so I'm not going to do the normal things. I've been doing this for a long time. So... Until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is indeed, my friend, a very good thing. Yeah. <laughs> now I got to reach over and hit the close button. And then I have to edit this in, in Wondershare. But it'll be easy. No facts. Just got to sync up the sound. <laughs>